It was, seemed like the end of the world for me. It was extremely um, traumatizing. I was in complete shock. I felt like I had been raped. It's making me shake now, just even thinking about it. That night, my life changed. And the lives of all these women changed as well. being very happy um, boarding the plane that we're finally heading home with my um, five-month-old baby at the time and then I remember the long wait every 30 minutes or so was a different explanation as to why we are uh, delayed you could feel that there was tension already from the crew you could actually you could actually feel that there was something going on We was greeted by gun-wielding police officers. There was so much tension in the air and it was very, very intimidating. We thought we'd been kidnapped and we're going to be held hostages. I was still so terrified, the nurse told me to strip from the waist down. And she actually uh, gave me a vaginal examination. And it was at that point that I sort of found my voice and, and asked what in fact was going on. I protested and said, well, it's clearly not my baby. I'm holding my baby. She grabbed into my pants, underwear, and stripped them down. She saw my scar from uh, my emergency C-section, realised I was actually t telling the truth um, and just said, you can go. I then was furious. My intimidation then turned to, to anger. I was assaulted, I was violated by the Qatari government, but yet to them it holds no merit. If they don't do anything and we just drop it, then the message that we are basically sending is they can do anything and they're untouchable. It's going to be lodged here in Sydney. Um, I think it's going to be sure. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, that's the idea. Yeah, no, it is. We go through exercise with it. So there's no question that the courts of New South Wales have jurisdiction over both Qatar Airways and the Qatar government in this case. So they will be forced to appear and they'll be forced to answer for their actions. I don't know how they have the face to, to put these ads out there, come to Qatar, visit Qatar, come to watch the World Cup. It's absolutely disgusting, it's disgraceful. What happened happened, we need to find some closure. I want some assurances that this will never happen again to anybody.